Hello my friends, it's me Sven from the channel BFD Drives and as you're knowing I'm a true petrol head. I'm not only loving uh, the real cars, of course I also love to collect the smaller ones. And so welcome to my very first video in 2024. And yeah, so let's start with this year. Oh by the way guys, uh, I came across this um, 10 orange cars challenge through the uh, yeah the participation of Brian Steikast, Thailand, he participated into this challenge uh, from Charles Diecast Garage. So, and yeah, let's start it with this wonderful uh, Saporges ZIZ966. This is a model from Model Car Group. I'm Got this one in less or this or maybe two years ago, maybe last year or two years ago. And yeah, this one here is in scale 1 to 18. Now you can see everything. Um, this car, uh, the design is yeah reminding me a little bit about the NSU Prince, the fourth generation. But this year is yeah only looking like it. This car uh, has been produced in the Soviet Union and uh, Saporozhes is produced nowadays on, well nowadays, I don't know if they are still producing something but uh, well, the place where it is, is in Ukraine so, this is an Ukrainian car if you want to say so so, now let's continue so, I'm not only having this one oh. so there's another model also in scale 1 to 80. This guy here is a Kalman Gia. So a nice little Volkswagen. This one is from Road Signature. I have this one already for many many years. So minimum 10 years. Kalman Gia, also really a wonderful car. A car that I'm also loving to see. I'm loving to see on these classic car shows and here also very interesting guys Audi it's an Audi 80 the first generation um, this one was also sold to the United States of America um, but in the United States of America this car was called the Audi Fox this model here is from a KK scale and I've got this one I'm thinking two or three years ago so let's continue <laughs> the turntable is a little bit loud huh and yeah so here also with a big reaching to four wheel jive so Robert you of course knowing this car this is the European version of the Opel Cadet LS. It's the Cadet B. B stands for the second generation of the Opel Cadet. So it was produced by Opel, which back then has been a part of General Motors. This is a wonderful coupe. This model is from uh, Revell. It's a metal die cast, of course. You can open the hood and the doors. I've also already shown this model uh, separately. I can link it. And here, this one is from Mini Champs. Back when Mini Champs was uh, making great models for a great price. This here is the Opel Cadet C, also a coupe. Also, really a wonderful. Also one of the most popular classic cars here in Germany, perhaps the most popular Opel all time. Opel Cadet C Coupe, wonderful. Then what is this? Ah, uh, yeah. And here a wonderful model. It's already a an older model. But I've got it also sometime around 2020. Um, you know, maybe I have to <laughs> do it like this so it's better to see for you. Um, 
This is a Volkswagen Nardo W12. Also really a wonderful car. And the model is also great. It is made by... Um, who has it been? Was it Valley? No, not Valley, I'm thinking. Oh, well, let's find out. No, Motormax. Motormax. It was back from Motormax. Yes, exactly. Motormax. And so back then Motormax still made great models like as this one here. So nowadays um, these are, well, low budget cars they're producing, or model cars. So, now, ah, what well, we have one more, one, one, eight, one, two, eighteen? Yep. So, oh, so, this guy here is the European version of the Volkswagen Caddy. The front is of the European Volkswagen Golf. While in Mexico it was a build with the front of the Volkswagen Rabbit. Uh, the Volkswagen Caddy, by the way, was never built in Germany. It was only built in Yugoslavia or, to be more precise, in Serbia. This model here is from Solido. At Solido models you can unfortunately only open the front passenger doors yeah. Oh, and you can see also there are more models <laughs> on the loading bay. So yeah, let me show them to you. Uh, look. Here's another Opel Cadet. See? Let me zoom in. This one here is in scale 1 to 43. Oh, and I'm seeing this is not an Opel Kadett, it's the Argentinian version of it. This is the Opel K80. Uh, so here you can see it better. Maybe I'm also doing this with the camera. Yeah, perfect now, perfect. Yeah, so this is the Opel K80. And here guys, <laughs> scale 1. 287 so the HO railroad or model railroad uh, scale so this is um, the same car like as the big one that I was showing you before so here's the big one okay now it's a little bit hard to see <laughs> oops Ew. so well Zooming a little bit out again. So here you can see again the big one and there beside the small one. So you can see the difference about the size. Um, yo. And here is it. Zap. Audi 80 or Audi Fox. Also a very cool model. I've got this one. This one is from uh, Brekina. I've got this one really cheap. And yeah, back to scale 1 to 43. We are having this one here. This here is a car from Poland. Oh, let's zoom out a little bit. Yeah. It's the FSO Polonez. And it was based on the Fiat 128P, if I'm not mistaken. So technically. It's one like of these old boxy um, Fiat's, but optically, of course, looking much more modern. Also a wonderful car, in my opinion, design-wise. About the techniques, I don't know anything. Oh, and here's something. Yo, guys. This here, guys, is a Dixie Challenger. Um, in my childhood, I also had one like this. But unfortunately, none of the uh, diecast models from my childhood have survived. My parents gave it away for free. So, to someone else. And yeah, so, when we were teenagers, so, yeah, <laughs> I had to buy this one. And by the way, guys, I had to pay, uh, to pay around 20 bucks to get this one. As you can see, it's not in the very best condition, but I'm happy what I've got. And yeah. So, you can also notice the, um, I would to say, the Union Jack, <laughs> the rebel flag, I mean, uh, on the roof. So, 
just showing you here. This is meaning this is the very first release of this car, and you can also see it has a plastic body, underbody I mean, and here stands um, copyright 1970. Uh, but 1970 was actually the date when the um, bifocal was getting, yeah, produced and released. It has been released in 1971. And later in 1974, there was uh, another model coming, and the, the bifocal was looking kind of like this here. So it has it had the same uh, underbody, but it had here a clear uh, clear uh, engine hood, and you could look into the engine. Then later in 1974, oh by the way, and this one is from 1981, so. So not from 1970, the Dixie Challenger is from 1981. And yeah, later um, in 1974 was coming the um, the Roger Dodger. And I've also seen recently at my local store, so the Roger Dodger is this one here. So exactly the same, ca uh, same car, but um, yeah. But it has the, um, yeah, here you can see the exhaust and the exposed engine, but the body is of course the same. So, so the Roger Dodger was also kind of the base of this old uh, Dixie Challenger, and I'm absolutely loving it. So that's one of the Hot Wheels models I could re remember from my childhood. I was thinking, yeah, why not? Why not getting it once again? Um, and here, in scale 1 to 43, this here is an Opel Bedford Blitz. Actually, it was only rebadged as an Opel here in Germany. It was produced as a Bedford, I'm thinking Bedford van. Oh well, um, Glenn from uh, Tip Top Motors can tell for sure. So yeah, so this is the Opel Bedford Blitz. Nice little van. So guys, um, I don't know how many pieces I was already showing, so well, let's make it fast now because I'm already at 12 minutes. So for my diorama I'm planning because as you can see in the background they're standing already something and I was planning to do something but yeah, time. <laughs> so I wanted to get this one here, it's a Plomaster 6000. Then so just to create a little construction or something like that and here, this here is from Siku. It's, by the way, they, these models are in scale uh, around 1 to 63 or what is it? I don't know. Is the standing something? Not really. This is a Scania track with some, um, or lorry, with some uh, yeah, traffic signs. Then, yeah, <laughs> pretty cheap for the thing here. One euro. That's from Teddy from our one dollar store here. Yeah. Of course, they are all in orange. <laughs> here's one more. It has this chowbel here. And yeah, here's a three pack from Matchbox. Well, let's zoom out so I can get it into the entire picture, maybe. A nah. little bit hard, but yeah, here you can see it. Yo, some more construction stuff, of course, also in orange. And I'm pretty sure that I'm already showing you more than 10 pieces but yeah as you're knowing or maybe not uh, I'm not really this good in mathematics I've also seen recently this one here a custom auto usually I'm not so much into these um, these uh, fantasy models but when I've seen this color then I had to get it because it's really nice with this orange stripe this is a light orange and the orange color and everything also I must say it's looking very much like a real car Oh, by the way, the Dixie Challenger, it's actually also a um, a fantasy car, and I'm also liking it. The front is kind of like the flag from Dodge, from the Dodge Challenger, but the side is, this is, this is so the rear end and so on, it's more reminding me about a Ford Mustang. So, what else did I get? So, of course, this wonderful Porsche 911. Carrera RS 2.7 amazing car as you're knowing I'm very often seeing one not in this color combination but very often I'm seeing 
a white one with the green Carrera um, stuff on it at the Classics and Coffee in Stuttgart. Here is a Fire Chief model of the 2010 Camaro Chevy Camaro SS. So then recently I've also got this one. I'm not sure it's this really orange. Yeah, maybe. Well, let's call it to be uh, one of these, um, yeah, 80 shades of orange. So this here is a Chevy Bel Air Gasser. Also a very cool car. And what else did I get? Yeah, I have forgotten to unpack it, but yeah, then I'm showing it to you here. Here is something, I'm thinking this, uh, what is it, M&M &M model here is a Chevy Monte Carlo, I guess. It's from the HW Hot Wheels Circle track. Uh, well, here stands it as well. Maybe I can read something. So, what is it? No, it's a Buick Grand National. Buick Grand National, guys. So, guys, well, now I've showed, I was showing you some of my orange models. Probably I'm even having more because there are still two big boxes that I have not checked about it because, yeah, it would have taken me too much time. So, yeah, just let me know what's your favorite. And, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And, yeah, see you next time. I'm continuing about some more videos. I'm right now still editing the fourth part of the uh, aviation show in Wildberg. So when the fourth video of the airplanes is uh, uploaded, then the next video that's coming up is this one. And then I'm continuing with the next classic car show. So guys, stay tuned. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.